Hi. So, sorry for the informality of this setting. I don't have access to the recording room at this moment. But I want to talk a little bit about the graphs of tangent functions. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. We spent a full week talking about the sine and the cosine. There are four trig functions left. We won't be spending that kind of time on those. But you should know in a general sense, what the tangent looks like. So here is that graph. And probably the main feature that you're going to notice, or the first feature you're going to notice, especially if we zoom out a little, is that the tangent has a bunch of vertical asymptotes. So at pi over two, for example, there is a vertical asymptote. And we can think about why this is. Vertical asymptotes occur when we have division by zero errors. You might remember that from algebra and looking at rational functions. And the tangent is a fraction. The tangent is the sine divided by the cosine. And if we look at the cosine, yes, indeed, this vertical asymptote occurs where the cosine is zero. So the tangent is giving us a division by zero error. And because the cosine is zero at infinitely many values, this tangent curve has infinitely many vertical asymptotes. Uh, reading from left to right, the next vertical asymptote is going to occur at x equals pi over 2 plus pi. So if you look at this vertical asymptote, and then you look at the next vertical asymptote, you see there are pi units apart. This pattern that you're seeing here, where the tangent goes up and then kind of hooks right and then keeps going up, that pattern is repeated every pi units. And what that's telling us in terms of definitions we've seen before is that the tangent has a period of pi. So all of the trig functions are periodic, but they don't all have the same periods. The sine and the cosine have periods of two pi. The tangent has a period of pi. And then one period of the tangent, as we saw on the graph, looks like that. So let's call this video here, or I guess I guess I should write down where these vertical asymptotes are. We've sort of seen the answer on Desmos, but the vertical asymptotes occur at x equals pi over 2 plus or minus 
n times pi, where n is a natural number. Um, in case there's anything unclear about this, let's go back to Desmos. You see there's a vertical asymptote at pi over two. Then there's a vertical asymptote at pi over two plus one pi. The next vertical asymptote will be at pi over two plus two pi, and so on. And going to the left instead of to the right, there's a vertical asymptote at pi over two minus one pi. There is a vertical asymptote at pi over two minus two pi, and so on. So pi over two plus or minus any natural number times pi will give you a vertical asymptote. And now with that, we really will call the video here. And in the next video, I'll briefly go over sort of the tangent equivalent of the sinusoidal functions. If we have five times the tangent of 2x minus 1 plus 7, what's that do?